Today we're going to be talking about RGB LEDs, some of the common mistakes people make when using them, and how you could do slightly better using yours in the near future. Roll that intro. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about RGB LEDs and some of the mistakes people make with them and how you could do slightly better. I wanna go ahead and say that the LEDs that I'm using in this video were actually provided to me by a company called Me Soon. And I have to say, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with their RGB LEDs. They're quite affordable, they're on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And yeah, their, their stuff's pretty decent and uh, I'd say overall solid. So we're gonna take a look at what's in this box and kind of talk about where people make mistakes because the mistakes that I see the most are people running LEDs in a weird fashion to where you have like bridge between stuff and you just have open and exposed LEDs and you don't want your LEDs exposed. You want them always kind of hidden or behind something or underneath or shining off and not just directly exposed towards your camera source or to your eyes or whatnot because they just look kind of bad that way. Um, so let's talk about what you get in a kit from me soon. And what you're gonna get in this kit is actually two rolls of LEDs, which I think comes out to 32 or 36 feet. Yes, it's a lot of RGB LEDs. And the problem whenever I was thinking about it is, yes, I could get this many LEDs, but I'm gonna need two rolls because I'm gonna be, or I'm gonna need two packs because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different things. And, you know, I'm gonna have to make a lot of cuts and I'm gonna have you know, a 16 foot roll that's gonna be cut and I'm only gonna use maybe four or six feet. Well, what we're gonna be talking about today is gonna to keep you from wasting the RGB LEDs that you purchase and helping you make them go farther for you, which is gonna be really awesome. So yes, you get two rolls in the pack. You also get a remote and this remote is going to allow you to customize what color you want your RGB LEDs and whatever profiles you want. If you want them to switch colors or kind of flash, all that cool stuff comes with a power adapter. This is gonna power your RGB LEDs. And then that is gonna run into this right here. Uh, this is actually a RGB controller. So what happens is you drop the box in the floor. That That's possibly what could happen. But the power goes into this thing and what this is essentially doing, this is an IR controller. This thing right here is going to essentially take the input from the remote and turn the LEDs on or off or change colors. And then you have two pigtails. So you can actually run those strips out of these. So you can have one go to the right, you can have one go to the left or one up and down. You can just kind of point them and move your LEDs in different directions. Or you could actually just plug into one of these and run your 30 something feet of LEDs in one direction, which is pretty decent. But that is not all that comes in this box. You also get some double-sided tape. This is going to allow you to mount the controller to like the side of a wall, a desk or something like that. And then there were also four little clips that came in them that I've already used from both boxes. So yes, those are really cool to help make sure that your strips are fastened down very well, especially if you're making a run where you don't really have anything that you can stick to. So pretty awesome there. This is what's gonna lead me to my next thing that I'm gonna talk about. This product I paid for, but it enhances this something crazy. And I will talk about what's going on behind me and how I used one box to light behind the TV, light the backside of my desk, and it's not that bright, honestly. It's probably the placement that I put inside the computer, but there are some inside the computer that are lit. I'm probably gonna add some more here very soon. Um, but yeah, let's talk about those accessories and how I was able to do that with one kit, even though there's only two pigtails, but I have three independent runs. So what I did was I picked up this kit off Amazon, and this is a solderless kit. And if you know anything about RGBs, you can solder wires together to extend RGBs, but the problem is you have to have a really decent soldering iron, in my opinion, to do it comfortably without melting the strips or just melting the solder completely off. And you know, this Quick Connect pack is actually really good. They have these little flaps that you can just pull open and just pry them open. They're kind of difficult, in my opinion, to get open, 
but that's a good thing. That means they're not going to pop open on accident. They have little metal contacts on them. I don't know if you can see. I'll try to zoom this in and post if I can. And essentially your strip slides underneath there. You just cut them on the lines where the RGBs have those sections where you can cut them. And then you could run one strip into this and then go left and right. So this is going to allow you to get those 90 degree angles and make them look good. No more bunching up the cable or the LED strip and having to fold it over itself and do all those weird things. Comes with a 45 degree. Like I said, it's got this tri-connector too. If you've already made some cuts to some LEDs, but you still wanna go ahead and connect them again, you could actually use this right here. This is a simple pass-through connector. So just connecting two strips together. Um, there are these things right here. What these are are little metal barbs in the prongs for the RGB LEDs. And those essentially allow you to connect two female connectors of those LEDs together. And we also have some screws and some little locking clips to screw them into your desk or something to keep them from moving. They're used on the backside of my desk. My LEDs haven't fallen off or anything like that. So really, really cool. Some other things we have are these right here. These are what I'd call like a little jumper. So let's say you had a little section of where you did not want RGB LEDs shining. You could throw one of these in here or you could make, you know, instead of a 90 degree angle, you could actually do it at like a 45 degree angle or maybe a bigger angle. Whatever you wanna do, you have these options now with these connectors. So this right here is a pass-through. I did not grab the black one, but there is a black one that has slightly different connections on it, and it's essentially kind of the same thing. Then you also get this six foot extension. So what I actually have the six foot extension doing, extension, if I can say the word, um, uh, before we get into that, I've done a lot of cable management. There's no cables that are visible going up the wall to that monitor or TV. And I didn't want it to be that way when I ran the L uh, RGB LEDs too. This is a six foot extension. So I have this coming out behind the wall down below my desk. And then this is ran up the wall to the TV. And then I have um, one of those extensions plugged in and then a 40 or a 90 degree connector at the bottom going up, up, and then all the way to the end. So this essentially allows me to do all these nice, really tight turns and keep my runs identical to each other, no bunching up of the LEDs and all of that cool stuff. So what I'd have to say is I recommend these RGB LED strips for me soon. It's a great price for the amount of LEDs you're getting. The controller works great. The remote has tons of options compared to some of the other RGB LEDs that I've purchased before, where the remotes are about a quarter the size and don't have near as many input options to be able to adjust lighting. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, the controller's good. It's already got two outputs. So with that one controller I have back there, I actually have that ran into one of these. And then it splits off to two more. So essentially, I have two running out of that controller. I plug one directly into this. So now I technically have two and then the third one. So I have three running off one controller going to my computer, the back side of my desk and up to that monitor. And it's all ran off one single remote, which to me is super awesome. And now I actually have a whole second box of these Maysoon LEDs and all of these extra connectors so I can work on a future project and actually make my LEDs go even farther than I thought they would have before I even started working on this project. So I hope this video has kind of opened your eyes a little bit more to some of the things that you can do with RGB LEDs. These kits do not require any skills with soldering. They are super easy to just clamp in. And like I said, they take your money a lot farther and keep you from having to cut and waste 10 feet of LEDs that you've purchased. And it's just a really, really great option. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, get subscribed here to How To Tech and turn on those notifications if you guys haven't already. Be sure to check out our community discord. It's gonna be linked down below. And if you wanna help support the channel financially, we also have memberships now. So you can go ahead and hop in there, get some custom emotes and emojis or whatever they call them over here on YouTube. And also go ahead and watch videos a day early, which is something that we've started doing as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.